In the mid-19th century, a single discovery would transform the United States forever. It would spark dreams of immense wealth and cause the largest migration in American history. This was the gold rush of 1849. It all began on January 24, 1848, when James Marshall discovered gold at Sutter's Mill in Coloma, California. He was working for John Sutter, building a sawmill along the American River, when he noticed shiny golden flakes in the water. To his surprise, the river was rich with placer gold. News of this gold discovery spread quickly across the United States and eventually the entire world. By 1849, tens of thousands of people, later known as 49ers, were on their way to California, hoping to strike it rich. They traveled from all corners of the globe, from the east coast of the United States, from Europe, Asia, and even Australia. Some took ships around the treacherous Cape Horn, others crossed the Panama Isthmus, and many journeyed overland through rugged terrain. The journey took months, was dangerous, costly, and often deadly. Over 300,000 people would risk everything to take this perilous journey. Why were so many people willing to take such a risk? First, the news sparked gold fever. People believed they could easily find gold and become rich. This allure of quick wealth was a powerful motivator. Also, at the time, many regions in the United States and around the world were experiencing economic difficulties. Thus, the gold rush offered a chance to escape poverty or financial struggles and start anew. Lastly, for some, especially younger men, the gold rush represented an opportunity for adventure. Regardless of their motivation or how they arrived in California, the miners quickly learned that gold fields were no place for the faint of heart. They were rugged, harsh, chaotic, and often lawless. Many of the gold fields were located in remote, mountainous areas, with rough terrain and extreme weather conditions, ranging from scorching summers to freezing winters. The work was backbreaking. Early miners used simple tools like pans, picks, and shovels to sift through riverbeds and dig into the earth. This process was physically exhausting and required long hours of labor each day. The living conditions for miners were also rough. Miners lived in primitive conditions, typically in makeshift tents or cabins with limited access to food, clean water, leading to widespread disease and poor hygiene. Mining camps sprang up rapidly during the gold rush, leading to the development of nearly 500 mining towns across California. These towns were crowded, lacked proper sanitation, and were often lawless. Crime became a significant problem, driven by sudden wealth and the absence of legal structures. Theft was rampant, with miners constantly at risk of losing their gold, belongings, and supplies. In towns and in the countryside, many criminal gangs formed. These gangs engaged in robbery, claim jumping, and violence. The California Gold Rush would only last about seven years, starting in 1848 and ending in 1855. During this period, an enormous amount of gold was found, around 750,000 pounds. The total value of this gold in today's dollars would be over 30 billion. Unfortunately, only a very small percentage of miners actually struck it rich. The vast majority of miners either found small amounts that barely covered their living expenses, or none at all. Most miners left the gold fields with little to show for their efforts. Interestingly, the real wealth often went to those who provided goods and services to the miners, such as merchants, saloon owners, and suppliers. Though the gold rush was brief, it did have a profound impact on California and the entire United States. For instance, California's population exploded. 
In 1848, the population was about 14,000, and by 1855, it was over 300,000. San Francisco, once a small settlement, grew into a booming city. The rapid population growth led to California's admission to the Union as the 31st state in 1850. The gold rush also accelerated the development of infrastructure such as roads, railroads, and ports, which for the first time connected California to the rest of the country. In the end, though many dreams of wealth were shattered, and there were negative impacts on the environment and the Native Americans, the gold rush of 1849 was a pivotal moment in American history and would reshape the nation.